Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this second Sunday of Easter, we are gathered as a community of faith to celebrate this Eucharist and to share in the new life of our risen Lord. Today is also Divine Mercy Sunday, and let us ask Jesus, the Lord of the Divine Mercy, to look upon all of us with mercy, especially on those who are sick and on those who have died. Trusting in the Divine Mercy, let us now beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Papuli 
sa Diyos na kaitaasan at sa lupay kapayapaan sa mga taong pinalulugan niya. Pumukuri ka namin, dinarangan ka namin, sinasampang ka namin, ipinagpukuli ka namin. Pinasasalamatan ka namin Dahil sa dakilang ang pinapulihan Panginoong Diyos, mahin ang langit Diyos na habang makapangyayahan sa lahat Panginoong Yesu Cristo Ang anak, ang ibong Dios, kondero ng Dios, anak ng ama. Ikaw na nagalis ng mga kasalan, ang sandibutan maawa ka sa amin. Ikaw na nagalis ng mga Sandibutan, tanggapin mo ang aming kahitingan. Ikaw na nanuluklok sa pananangama, maawa ka sa amin. Sapagkat ikaw lamang ang banal, ikaw. Ikaw lamang, O Heso Kristo, ang kataas-taasan ka sa haman ng Espiritu Santo sa katakilaan ng Diyos Ama. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. 
His love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by Him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep His commandments and His commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still believe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, 
was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the character of the Apostle Thomas stands out in our Gospel today, the second Sunday of Easter. And because of this Gospel, because of this event, Thomas was given the title, The Doubting Thomas. He doubted because he did not immediately believe the testimony of the other disciples who saw the risen Lord because he was absent the first time that Jesus appeared to his disciples. And because he was absent, he lost the opportunity to see Jesus risen from the dead. And because he did not see Jesus, he doubted. But it might be interesting to ask, why was Thomas absent in the first place? Bakit nga kaya wala si Thomas noong unang nagpakita si Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad? Nung araw na muling nabuhay si Jesus, nung linggong iyon, kinagabihan, nagpakita na kaagad si Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad na natitipon sa isang silid. Pero bakit nga ba wala noon si Tomas? Where was he? Where did he go? Now, some biblical scholars would say that Thomas was not there because he deliberately withdrew himself from the disciples after the death of Jesus. Maybe Thomas thought that now that Jesus is dead, there is no more reason for him to join the group. Anyway, he joined the disciples of Jesus because of Jesus. Ang tanging dahilan naman kung bakit sila nagsasama-sama ay dahil kay Jesus. At ngayong wala na si Jesus, 
ngayong patay na si Jesus, wala nang dahilan para magsama-sama pa sila. So, Thomas probably decided to withdraw from the group. Hindi na lang ako sasama. Dahil bakit pa ako sasama? Wala na naman si Jesus. Maaari ding nag si Thomas na lumayo dahil sa sama ng loob, dahil nasira ang kanyang pag-asa kay Jesus. Maybe because of the death of Jesus, Thomas was so discouraged, so heartbroken, because the one person on whom he placed his trust failed him. Siguro sabi dito, mas kaya pa naman ako sumama kay Jesus dahil inaakala ko na siya ang magpapalaya sa Israel sa pananakop ng mga Romano. Akala ko siya na yung pag-asa namin. Pero binigo niya kami dahil natalo siya. At katulad ng sino mang taong masama ang loob, may hinanakit at nagtatampo, lumayo na lamang siya. But while these reasons could be possible reasons why Thomas was absent when Jesus first appeared to his disciples, it could also be possible that Thomas was not there simply because he was left behind. Wala siya dahil nakalimutan siya. Remember that when Jesus was arrested by the soldiers at the Garden of Gethsemane, all the disciples escaped and went their own ways. Nagkanya-kanya silang lahat. And probably they have lost contact with each other. And so Thomas did not know that there was a gathering of the disciples that evening. Noong namang panahon ni Jesus, wala pang cellphone. Hindi naman sila nag-text sa isa't isa, O Tomas, nandito kami sa silid, dito sa hideout, pumunta ka dito. Maybe Thomas did not know that the apostles were already together. He was absent, not because he wanted to be, to absent himself, but because he was left behind. Wala siya doon, hindi dahil gusto niyang hindi sumama, dahil ayaw niyang sumama, wala siya doon dahil hindi niya alam na meron palang pagtitipon noong gabing iyon. And there could be other reasons why Thomas was not there. But whatever the reason be why Thomas was not around when Jesus first appeared to his disciples, the truth is, one week later, and that is today, one week after the resurrection, Jesus returned for Thomas. Bumalik si Jesus pagka isang linggo, para lamang sa isang nagdududang alagad na si Tomas. Jesus took the time to return in order for Thomas to believe. My dear brothers and sisters, that is how important Jesus is, or that is how important each of us is to Jesus. Mahalaga tayo kay Jesus na kahit na para sa isang nagdududang alagad, babalik at babalik siya. And this is also how great the mercy of Jesus is to each one of us. This is a manifestation 
of God's mercy and compassion. Today, the second Sunday of Easter has been declared by St. Pope John Paul II as Divine Mercy Sunday. Today, we celebrate the Feast of the Lord of the Divine Mercy. Ang dakila, ang mabathalang awa ng Diyos. And here in the experience of Thomas, we could see very powerfully how merciful God is. Jesus is that good shepherd who will seek out even one lost sheep because he does not want anyone left behind. Jesus is that merciful Savior who will return for a doubting apostle so that that apostle will not be left behind. The mercy of God tells each one of us, no one should be left behind. In the mercy of God, He would never allow anyone to be left behind. Ang awa ng Diyos ay awa na nagsasabi sa ating, hindi ko hahayaan na may mapag-iwanan. Sapagkat sa awa ng Diyos, walang dapat nag-iisa, walang dapat naiiwan, walang dapat iniiwan. Dapat lahat kasama, dapat lahat magkakasama. And this was imbibed by the early Christian communities, as we heard in our first reading today. According to our first reading, the Christian community experienced the resurrection of Jesus by holding their properties in common. Those who own properties and houses would sell them, and the proceeds of the sale were distributed each according to need. And so everyone was equal. There was no needy person among them. Pantay-pantay lahat. Walang mayaman, walang mahirap. Dahil ang pag-aari ng isa ay pag-aari ng lahat. Kung kailangan ng isa, bibigyan para walang napag-iiwanan. No one will be left behind because each will be given according to need. And this is the mercy of God. St. John in our first Read, and our second reading today says that if we believe in Jesus, then we are begotten by God. Faith in Jesus means belongingness to God. And if we belong to God, God will never allow us to be left behind. Sa pananampalataya natin kay Jesus na muling nabuhay, tayo'y nabibilang sa sambayanan ng Diyos. At sa sambayanan ng Diyos, sa sambayanan ng mga mananampalataya, sa simbahan ni Jesus, walang dapat na pag-iiwanan. Lahat magkakasama, lahat iisa. My dear brothers and sisters, there are many Thomases around us. Maraming Thomas na marahil ay nasasaktan, nahihirapan, may sama ng loob, naghihinanakit. At dahil dito, pinipili na lamang mapag-isa. 
Thomas is there in a friend, a family member who chooses to be alone, who detaches himself from community, from family, from friends because of frustration, disappointment, anger, and hatred. Kaya tingnan natin sa ating paligid, baka may mga Tomas na nandyan na napag-iisa na lang, bigla na lang tumatahimik, bigla na lang hindi nagpaparamdam, bigla na lang nawawala dahil masama ang loob. Let us seek them out. Thomas could be in the people who do not wish to be left behind, but they are left behind because of the past fast pace of society. Baka may mga Tomas na ayaw naman talagang mapag-iwanan. They do not want to deliberately withdraw themselves, but they are left behind by people and society. Sila yung mga taong napag-iiwanan at nakakalimutan. Ayaw naman talaga nila, pero wala silang choice dahil sa kanilang katatayuan. Thomas may be there in people who are poor, who do not enjoy the luxuries in life, Baka may mga taong napag-iiwanan na sa ating lipunan habang yung iba, kahit sa gitna ng pandemic, ay payaman ng payaman. Baka merong mga taong napag-iiwanan. And you know, my dear brothers and sisters, even in this time of pandemic, we could strongly feel Thomas in our midst. May mga taong mas napapaburan kaysa sa iba. Ito lamang nakaraang linggo sa pamamigay ng ayuda. Maraming nagre-reklamo bakit may pinapaburan merong napag-iiwanan. Kahit daw sa mga ospital, merong mga kailangan mong pumila at maghintay pero merong napapaburan. Ang mga bagay na ito ay karanasan ni Tomas. My dear brothers and sisters, may there be no Thomases anymore in our midst who are simply left behind because we have forgotten them. Alam niyo po, sa linggong ito na sabi sa amin na napakaraming intentions na ipinadala para sa mga yumao karamihan dahil sa COVID-19. Kung babalikan niyo po yung mass intentions before the mass, for the first time we have 14 slides of intentions, more than half of which are for the souls of the faithful departed. The families of these people who passed away are also Thomas in our midst. Naiwan din, napag-iwanan din. My dear brothers and sisters, May no one miss the risen Lord only because we have left them behind. Sana po katulad ni Jesus, hanapin natin ang mga lumalayo, hanapin natin ang mga napag-iisa, hanapin natin ang mga nakakalimutan. And if we are the Thomas, if we are the ones who prefer to be alone, 
If we are the ones who are left behind, then believe that even if society, even if leaders would forget you, Jesus, in His mercy, will always remember you. He will always return for you. For that is what community means. That is what the church means. No one must be left behind in the community of faith. No one should be left behind in the church. Because it is in the context of the church, of the community of believers, that we could experience the risen Lord. And together as a community, experiencing the triumph of Jesus, our risen Lord, we could all together say like Thomas, our Lord and our God. As a community of believers, let us now profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, God, in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, our Lord, Lord who was, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, crucified, died, and was buried, buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As witnesses of the resurrection, the apostles were sent forth to continue the work of Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray for the mission of the Church and the needs of the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That led by the successors of Peter and the apostles, the Church will boldly proclaim the truth of Easter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who guide the economy of nations will distribute resources fairly among the peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people weighed down by guilt may find pardon and peace in the divine mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our working week will be transformed by the joy of Easter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer that the risen Christ will bring the dead to share in his victory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. As your people continue to work, continue the work of the apostolic witnesses, we beseech you, most merciful Father, to grant our petitions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank 
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoon Dios na makapangyari Napupuno ang langit at lupa Ang katakitaan mo O sana, o sana Sa kaitaasan O sana, o sana Sa kaitaasan Pinagpala ang Paririto Sa ngana ng Panginoon O sana, o sana Sa kaitaasan O sana, o sana Sa kaitaasan You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, 
and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Christo ay punitain, sa hindi ay inihain, bilang pagkain inuwin, pinagsasaluhan natin, hanggang sa siya'y dumating. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis R. Pope and Broderick, our administrator, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants whom you have called from this world to yourself. In silence, let us remember all the faithful departed, especially those who passed away because of COVID-19.
Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection, when from the earth He will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of His own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen, 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 alleluia. Purihin ang Diyos, purihin ang Diyos, amen, alleluia. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Sa Pakailanlan, ayon at 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Salanan ang mundo, maawa ka sa amin, kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ang mundo, maawa ka sa amin kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng mundo ipakaloob po niniho sa amin ang kapayapan Behold Jesus, our risen and merciful Lord. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Nais ko pong magpasalamat sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa ating pagdiriwang ng Banal na Misa mula dito sa Manila Cathedral. Thank you for joining our online Mass this Sunday morning. And we also wish to express our gratitude to all of you for all your help, the love offerings that you send, in order that we may continue with our mission. Maraming salamat din po sa iba't ibang mga social media platforms na nagbabahagi ng ating pagdiriwang ng Banal na Misa ngayong umagang ito. And because today is the Feast of the Divine Mercy, we wish to invite you this afternoon at 3 o'clock, the hour of the Divine Mercy, to join us in praying the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy 
before the blessed sacrament of the altar. Sa araw pong ito ay nagbibigay ang simbahan, ang Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng simbahan ng plenary indulgence. At kahit na po hindi kayo makakapunta sa mga simbahan, ay maaari tayong makatanggap ng plenary indulgence kapag meron tayong pagnanais na magsisi sa ating mga kasalanan, mangumpisal kapag maaari ng magkumpisal, manalangin para sa mga intensyon ng mahal na Santo Papa Francisco at madalangin sa uh, Divine Mercy. Kaya po mamayang hapon, sama-sama po tayong manalangin ng chaplet at uh, tanggapin natin itong plenary indulgence na ipinagkakalob sa atin sa araw na ito na nag-uumapaw ang awa ng Diyos. The uh, plenary indulgence could be applied to ourselves or we could apply it to the people who have passed away para sa kanilang kaligtasan. Mamaya po sa ating Facebook page, 3 o'clock, we hope that we could be together to pray to our Lord of the Divine Mercy. And may God bless this new week. May we experience always the mercy of God. And let us also show mercy to other people by not allowing anyone to be left behind. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessings now and forever. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance now and forever. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia. Qui atque me luisti portare, Alleluia. Resur exit, sicut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deus.